loves today I have another video for you guys it's gonna be a 99 cent haul the video that I put up before this one the little vlog where I was showing you guys around the 99 cent store that was the day that I got all this stuff I'm gonna start out by showing you guys and I'm probably gonna talk low on this one because these are actually stocking stuffers but my kids didn't know that um, they were picking thought they were picking them out for a couple of kids in their homeschool group but they really weren't they were picking them out for them which is funny but um so that's what this stuff is so this is for my daughter's stocking it is a little figurine of I think she said this was Anna and she has the other one what is her name the, the blonde haired one she has that one so she wanted that one or she thought the little girl would want that one because she wanted it but it's hers um so that I got her that and my son for some reason likes this kind of stuff and he wanted to get these so these are his um they're magnet wooden numbers which will go in his stocking then my daughter I was so my daughter loves monster high and um she wanted to get these for the little girl um these are headphones look at these guys like how freaking awesome is that they were $5.99 and they are the monster high headphones that look like that look how cute those are and she plays on like the laptop and stuff and she likes to watch like minecraft videos and stuff on youtube and she also likes to watch my little pony on netflix and all that kind of stuff so this would be really cute for that she loves these um, they're little, little, what are they called? Pony pops or something where you like stick them together. This one's Rainbow Dash. And as you guys can see, it was only $1.99. So I'm super happy about that. Um, that's just crazy that they have this stuff at the 99 cent store. Like, I was so happy. Look at that. That is going to be such a good Christmas present. And then I also got her another one. I didn't find much for my son. Honestly, I didn't. Um, it was better for girls in my opinion but um anyway here's the other one this one I think she said is it's the one with like the little mohawk and stuff and they have it looks like they have more I don't know but there's what the back looks like so this is another one of her gifts and here's another one for my daughter um this one is the guy from Frozen I don't know what his name is she knows his name but I don't so she needed these two figurines so now she has those so we got this got a bag of these tootsie pops caramel apple these are like my absolute favorite lollipops in the entire world they're just like apple with like covered in caramel and who doesn't like caramel apples and then my daughter wanted some of these these are just like the red vine original they're like twizzlers um she really likes these so this is like a pretty big bag too um, it says that they have different flavors, but I'm pretty sure this is, this is just the cherry. Um, but it says that they have black licorice, grape, and cherry, but this is just cherry. Okay, one more bag for the 99 cent store, and then the other bag will be a few little items from the King Dollar that we went to, which, by the way, we had never been before, or at least I had never been there before, and, I mean, it was okay. It wasn't, like, amazing or anything like that. I, I think I spent, like, five bucks there, but... Um, I got these folders. Look how cute these are. I'm actually going to take these out of the bag so you guys can see. These I got to use in my Bible study binder. And it's so funny because we went up the stationary aisle and I was there way before Charlene was. And um, I just like completely did not see the whole entire stack of folders that she saw. And <clears throat> these were in there. And she was like, hey, did you see these? And I was like, no, but I really want them. Were you going to get them? And she was like, no, you can have them. So, because these are the only ones they were. So, it just has Bible verses. It says, I know where love comes from. And it's from John 3.16. And I think that is so pretty. And then the back is just like a plain pink. And I don't know what's on the inside. Oh, the inside just has the really pretty heart that it has on the front. So, these will work really, really good in my binder. And this folder says, he has my heart. Um, search me, O oh God, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts. And it's from Psalm 139.23. And this one is probably my favorite. I love it. The back is just plain black again. And then the inside has another one of the little hearts with the cross. My husband has been wanting some of those, like, headphones that cover your ears completely. 
And they actually have these at Five Below for $5. And when I saw them at the 99 cent store, I was like, okay, I'm going to get him these because he's been wanting them so bad. Um, these are like just the normal... These are the normal stereo headphones, and they actually bend, as you guys can see. They bend down there. They have like a little hinge, and they had red and green in these as well, and they were $1.99. So, I'm going to give these to him tonight. He's going to be pretty happy because he's been wanting those forever because he was using a pair of mine, and they actually snapped in two, so yeah, that sucks. Okay, and then I got me a phone case, and I was kind of like, you guys are going to hear me in the vlog talking about it's red. But I didn't care because I don't have any, well, actually, take it back. I have one clear silicone case for my iPhone 6 Plus. Um, and I have not ordered, I haven't been like an ordering crazy maniac with this phone like I was with my 4S. Like I had probably close to 50 phone cases for my 4S. And now when I got my 6 Plus, I maybe have... I don't know, I would say maybe 10 at the most, which is still a lot for like a normal person to have, but not for a phone case junkie like me. Um, I've just been getting them whenever I see them at like five below and the Dollar Tree. And um, I think I did order, when I first got my phone, I did order a couple of them offline, but mostly I've just been getting them from the um, five below and the Dollar Tree. But the 99 cent store had one, one case for the iPhone 6 Plus and it was literally only one. I'm not talking about like they had a dozen of this one. They only had this one. That was it. So I got it, um, even though it is red. And I'm going to put it on my phone because I just think it's cute. And I thought it would be really cute for like the Christmas holiday season. Because I don't care what everybody says. I love Thanksgiving and everything like that. But officially November 1st, that is like holiday season for me. Like Christmas season because I love Christmas so much. It's just like a silicone case and it is for the iPhone 6 Plus so got that can't wait to put that on my son wanted Reese cups so for his little snack thing for the house he chose Reese cups my daughter chose Twizzlers um and then I got me these pins these are some of my favorite pins they have always been some of my favorite pins um these are the felt tip pins by Papermate no it's not Papermate it's Studio Art but Papermate makes these too you guys know the little things up there but they're just like, let me open these up and show you guys for those of you guys that don't know what I'm talking about. Actually, this is not, oh my gosh, be still my heart, be still my heart. I thought these were like the felt tip paper mates, guys. That's the whole reason why I got them. But I'm even, even happier now because they're not. They're actually my favorite pen in the entire world that I didn't even know they made in this style. Are you kidding me? Okay, this is what I'm talking about when I tell you guys my favorite pen. Normally, they put it on the packaging. They call it Ultra Fine Tip. But this one is calling it Felt Tip, which is the reason why I thought it was like the Paper Mates. But there is what it looks like. I don't know if you guys can see that. I hope it's not blurring. But it literally looks like the lead of a mechanical pencil. These are my favorite pens to write with. I do not like ballpoint pens. What did I do with that lid? Where did it go? Oh Lord, there it is. Um, I do not like ballpoint pens because I don't, I don't, I just don't like my writing with ballpoint pens. So I got those, and now I'm pretty happy because not only did I get blue, but I also got red and black. And don't they look like the paper mates? That's the reason why I thought they were the paper mates. Stupid me. I mean, I read the studio art, but I just figured it was like a knockoff since it was at the 99 cent store. But now I'm like super happy that they're my favorite pens. So yay. And then of course my daughter wanted a notebook because she loves to draw. So um, she wanted a notebook so she could draw in. So I got her that. Okay, that was all for the 99 cent store. The kids got a couple other things. I think my son got a couple of cars. Um, Charlene bought him a car and then I bought him a little car and then my daughter um, got like this police officer set that had like a little gun with it and some a whistle and a badge and that kind of stuff and then I got her this really cute little baby doll that comes with like a little panda and you could dress the baby up in like clothes and stuff that like tucks in their back I don't remember what it's called she's playing with it or I would show you guys but it was like really really super cute and my son got like one of those little protractor things because he thought it looked like a speedometer on a car so um yeah he got one of those so they got like a little bit other random things my daughter got some um best friend necklaces that she's gonna give one to her friend chelsea tonight when she gets home from school so there was some other things that i got but it was mostly just i mean stuff for them so 
And then I got Sophie some treats. We did get Sophie something. Before I show you guys the King Dollar haul, my friend Charlene, bless her heart, she made me some more paper clips and stuff. So I wanna show you guys. These cute little felt tip owls. You guys can see there, the little pink ones. And she made me some cupcakes. Look how cute those are. And then she made me some of the purple ones. And then, I gotta do my nails tonight, guys. Look over that, like, gotta do my nails. Then she made me two charms to put on my um, Bible study binder, which I thought was so nice of her. They both look exactly the same, so I'm not gonna show you both of them, so I'll just show you one. Um, but I'm gonna put one on my journal and then one on my Bible study binder. So she actually made these. Um, she bought the charms to make these and everything. Look how cute that is. Oh, turn it around so you guys can see. It's like, can you guys see that? It's like little, um, it's like little rhinestones with like a little arrowhead, which I had backwards, like thing at the bottom. Look how cute. I got some of these box cutters. See, I went to see if they had the pink ones like I had gotten once before. They used to have a three pack of pink box cutters. They were smaller, even smaller than this one right here. But, um, my husband broke mine, so I went to see if they had some more, and of course they didn't. But they did have this really, like, this is a better deal. These have two heavy-duty box cutters, pink, or yellow and black, and then they have the, the smaller, well, they're actually medium size because they're definitely not as small as my pink ones that I had. And they're pretty, like, sturdy, and this was a dollar, guys. Are you kidding me? Like, that's insane. But I'm constantly needing box cutters for, like, art projects with the kids in school and, like, um, for my planner to do like washi tape, um, all that kind of stuff. And I got so sick of like borrowing my husband's because it's huge, one of those big, heavy, like clanky ones. Got sick of that. So I got me some, yay. And I'm gonna keep these away from him so he can't snap the blades off like he did my pink ones. Last but not least, these are the EverX permanent markers. It's called, see, they're called so many different things. But I don't know, like that's insane. It's, once again, these are called, it says right there, ultra fine point ultra fine point okay a whole 12 pack of them for one dollar are you freaking kidding me like i have so many of my favorite pins now like the favorite type of pin that i love but they're like the little ones that i showed you that looks like the mechanical pencil lead sticking out but it's a pin it's a pin oh my god these are so my favorite pins ever to use i don't ever want to use any other ones I really like the Stadler ones, but I will never, ever spend another $15 on a pack of those. Don't last that long. Like, after you use these pens for so long, like, let me show you guys. The little tips on them right there, after you use them for so long, um, the little felt tips or whatever will wear down. Like, um, there's nothing left of them to write with. But it takes normally a pretty good while of consistently using this pen over and over and over and over and over and over and over. But the Stadler ones did not do that for me. My black one is already completely worn down to where I can't even use my black Stadler pen anymore. Which I think is ridiculous because they are really expensive pens um, that you get at Target. I think I paid for the 10 pack, I paid close to $15 for those pens. And I expect them to last longer than, like I haven't even had them a year yet. I have not had them a year and I had, it's not something that I use consistently like all the time. I did not even use it in my Bible study binder where I'm constantly taking Bible study nights every night. Um, I was only using those for my planner and it's already worn down to where I can't even hardly write with it anymore. Like it's completely done. The black is done. So it kind of disappoints me. So I'm not ever going to buy the Stadler pens anymore. And in my opinion, they're not worth it. They're not worth the money, especially if you like that type of pen. There are other pens out here, like at the 99 cent store and stuff. These have the exact same tip as the Stadler pens. No joke. It's the exact same pen tip as the Stadler. So I'm never going to buy the Stadler again. I just don't think that they're worth the hype. I don't think that they're worth the money and they don't last. So yeah, that's just my opinion though. But anyway, guys, that pretty much does it for my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. Thank you guys so, so much for always watching my videos, for always commenting under my videos, and showing me some love, and telling me, guys, your opinions about things, and how you guys feel about things, and just sharing your life with me as well. I really, really appreciate it. And, uh, yeah, I just love you guys. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and go, and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.